the make, make a contribution, make a connection um, uh, initiative this year was something new to replace Toys for Tots. Toys for, Toys for Tots had been an initiative we were doing for several years, uh, which is a great program here in the region. But this year especially, we wanted to be able to make a connection and make a contribution basically to people here in Radnor Township. So we actually formed a partnership with the Radnor Township Civic Association over on Highland Avenue, um, the Wayne Senior Center, as well as the Women's Resource Center, so that contributions of toys, there were turkeys at, at Thanksgiving, household goods and items and things could be contributed by res Radnor residents for Radnor residents this year as part of this program. Well, what we're doing, we're, um, we're trying to bless the community. Um, we, we had the opportunity to uh, get some turkeys to donate. And, and so since we were doing that, you know, we decided to, you know, open it up to the community. And then uh, Tammy and them from the Radnor Township also reached out to us as well. We decided to do something good for the community. It's our first year we ever did this. And uh, we've got about 75, I think it's about 75 to 100 turkeys that we, the RTCA members, has given out to individual families throughout the community. Today they're giving away free turkeys to the community, and this is such a blessing because it is hard times. It's COVID-19, and with them dispersing the turkeys to the neighborhood, it's really needed and it's appreciated from everybody who receives them. And people who are sometimes prideful, who will be like, I don't need it because they don't know how to ask for help. It's a blessing that the RTCA has opened up the, I call it the sanctuary, so that they can be a blessing to the community. The Radnor Town Civic Association isn't just for Highland Avenue and the Radnor Township. It's known throughout the whole main line. So we have people that are actually coming also from um, different areas of the main line that are coming and then we're also delivering. So we're doing a combination of all that. So, um, but in terms of the need, it's definitely, definitely a, a blessing. And so many people, like, as you can see, are like pulling up and, you know, we're just pop popping the, the turkey in their car, things like that. We're working very hard as we have a small membership, but uh, we're working very hard right now to make this a annual thing. It's always been important to help other people, but right now it's very important. So we're just doing this as a small gesture. It's a, a real pleasure to be involved in this and to help out some of our neighbors in the area. And we're, we're just thrilled to do it. We're very happy to have the township support and the support of the churches. Um, working together, we can make Wayne a better place to live. And that's what we're trying to do. Well, with the pandemic, obviously things have changed. Initially, our goals were, uh, for me, it's always the education, the cultural and the social activities to help our kids. Our main focus is um, children and seniors because seniors are number of big children. So <laughs> when you're looking at that, you know, we're just trying to implement more, you know, educational programs, tutoring. Uh, we run a tutoring program over at the car school. And so we're trying to implement that here. We want to do more health clinics, um, um, you know, community meetings, you know, it, it just any type where we can let this area here know about the resources that are available to them, not only through us, but also through the township, through the Wayne Senior Center, you know, those type of places. So um, there's just a whole lot that we want to do and can do, but we kind of, you know, like everybody else got kind of, you know, stifled behind you know, this whole pandemic. In these very challenging times, it reaffirms that people do care and they put their care into action, into tangible ways that people can see that people care. Look at the 21st century and do things that address the needs of the time that we are in, but we can always take a lesson and look to the past and see what worked and what was successful and build on that. Well, we just want to say thank you for donating all the turkeys today. We appreciate all the gifts that you give. We continue to lift you up in prayer and we thank you for just showing love in spite of and in the midst of the famine that's amongst the land right now. So we just want to say thank you and we appreciate you. So we've been uh, receiving uh, gifts from the community. Um, we have asked for um, different 
games and puzzles and things that uh, we could distribute to our members um, to help keep them active and engaged while at home and away from us here at the Senior Center. Um, we're getting adult coloring books, uh, crossword puzzle books, brain games puzzles, um, cozy slippers, and the most important um, and most valuable, I think, are the handwritten notes of encouragement and holiday cards from children in the community and community members um, just to send a little extra note of encouragement and support to our seniors who have had a really difficult year. So we really like to look at what can we do to help people socially, also physically, emotionally, spiritually, to stay connected and active. So I think it's really just a wonderful thing that's um, happening for our seniors. It really helps show our seniors in the community that they are valued, that they are being thought of when they're the most isolated, most vulnerable members of our community right now. And it's been really difficult for so many. Um, so I think just getting a care package, you know, really showing that the community cares about them just will make a huge difference in their lives. Normally the center is a very um, energetic, vital, you know, bustling place. Um, and most of our activities, we've been able to transition to a virtual format. Um, so we launched our, we call it WSC Connect, um, which is our virtual hub of programs. And uh, members can join us through Zoom programming or through telephone. Um, and those programs include everything from a daily exercise uh, class to lifelong learning. Um, and most importantly, we launched some support groups um, to help our older adults get through uh, what has been a very long um, nine months. Um, so we launched a living through COVID support group and um, just this month, uh, we launched a grief and loss support group. We adapted really quickly. Um, you know, when the doors were closed, we started talking immediately. How do we keep our members connected virtually? Pretty quickly, we transitioned to doing Zoom programming, and that has been amazing. I mean, it really has. We um, have gotten people hooked up to technology who never thought in their lives they would be doing this. I think the Zoom technology has really you know, help so many people right now stay connected and see people's faces. The folks that are going to be receiving these gifts um, are probably going to be some of our members who are not on Zoom, are not as comfortable or able to, you know, to do the technology or the virtual programs. And knowing that they can still, as you know, we said, um, not just know that we're thinking about them and caring about them, but they can actively do things on their own by themselves to stay mentally alert and sharp and entertained and you know know that people are thinking about them and they can work on a puzzle they can work on an activity book even if they're not doing it in the group they're still doing what they would if they were coming in person and we'd be leading the trivia program for example they can answer trivia questions they can still do that so I think that those um, the gifts that we asked for and that wish list was really thinking about people who, are, who were maybe more isolated, more alone, who really just needed um, things that were lower tech, but still very important to help them stay focused, connected, you know, mentally sharp and exercising, you know, their brain too. We want to make sure we are reaching our seniors who aren't on Zoom and who aren't feeling comfortable with the technology for whatever reasons. You know, we want to make sure that we are reaching those people and these care packages are going to be so exciting. Even just seeing the um, coloring pages, the markers, something to do. I mean, it's so important to keep the brain engaged, to keep the mind going, something to do. As um, the drive has been going on and um, these folks are engaged. They're always mentioning and they're always worried about and bringing up, well, what about so-and-so? Or what about um, the members that aren't on Zoom with us? How are we, Wayne Senior Center, what are you doing you know, to help them? And so you know, we speak about the drive. They've been very interested and engaged and offering to volunteer and um, drop off you know, packages and presents to our more homebound or you know, less um, active or less you know um, you know technologically involved seniors they're worrying about them and they're always asking how they are so I think 
that they know that we are actively involved in not only Zooming with them, but helping people who aren't on Zoom, who are homebound. We're delivering them presents, care packages, holiday greetings. I think just receiving the packages will brighten their day, make them feel um, cared for and loved, especially during this time when people are used to social gatherings and they can't do that right now. They can't see their family in the way they want to. So I think that, and especially seniors who maybe don't have a lot of family, I mean, this will mean the world to them. These gifts are going to mean the world to our members who are feeling very isolated right now at home. Um, some people have not left their home since March, um, and this will tell them that their community has not forgotten about them um, and values them and is thinking about them through the holiday season and uh, doing whatever they can to support them. So this is going to really make their day. You know, once again, I want to thank, you know, everybody here at the township and, and I love the, the, you know, the budding relationship that we're having so that we can all, you know, help support our community because, you know, it takes a village to raise a child and, and we're all part of the village. So anything that we can ever do to help the township, I hope they reach out to us and, you know, because it has to be reciprocal. We just can't have our hand out. Everybody has to chip in to make this, you know, this world better and uh, it starts with us individually.